I'd like the panel to tell us about any of the, any of the um, marketing efforts, campaigns. They can be your own, but we'll know if you're attached to that campaign or effort. But if there's anyone out there that you saw that you thought was a really good job uh, and you would like to... I'd get to go first, which is obviously I'm going to steal the funding from everyone else. I'm sure they would have used these examples too. But I think, um, I mean, what, what Dell, what first Dell and now more recently Starbucks have done with, um, you know, talking to their customers, um, understanding what those customers want, dealing with issues in them, you know, through, you know, <coughs> Dell Idea Storm and, and Starbucks, my idea, I recommend you go and have a look at them if you haven't. Um, I'd obviously like to be one of the first companies to sell that solution into a client in the UK, so if anyone's interested, give me a shout. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that, that really is what we're beginning to see, you know, a massive change in the way that companies relate to their customers. It, it's not just about marketing or PR anymore or, or dealing with conversations as they occur on social media. It's, it, you know, it's true sort of co-creation. It's, it's, a, it's a really different way of doing business. And, that, and that's not just about, about implementing a technological solution on a website that then gets ignored by senior management. It really does require the buy-in. Of, you know, of the whole company to, to really affect those changes that, that bubble up to the top, those ideas that bubble up. The one example I'd like to give is complete, will be completely unknown. This is from Oz. Uh, it was a hospital who was trying to change the, the culture. It was a cultural change project. They actually wanted to change the happiness level of everybody within a hospital. And what was come up with was um, purchasing a whole series of displays, large you know, widescreen TV displays to put into the kiosks of the hospital. Um, and then they chose five bloggers who did effectively Twitter posts, so they were under, under 50 word posts, um, to talk about the successes in their departments. And they chose a blogger from the nurses group, the doctors, the patient uh, responses, the marketing group and administration. And by simply training these people up, this is one of the things that really gets to me, they never bother training these people if they start implementing these technologies, but they did train these people up. And they just showed these blog posts on a morphing, uh, circle, circular kind of format in the, in the public kiosks. It was massively successful because all of the people inside of the hospital said, oh, you've solved that problem too. Oh, fantastic, can we use that? So it was an entirely internal solution wasn't a public, publicly accessible uh, process, but it was one of the most sensible deployments of social media for an entirely internal problem at a very low cost. I thought it cost a lot of money. Yeah. Well, that was a very low cost. It was still a lot of money to actually take the staff time up right. to create these blog posts. In, in another year, they would have <clears throat> they would have hired out a, a consulting firm like McKinsey or something like that and produce an, a massive report that only the higher-ups get to read and mm -hmm. you Doesn't move on to the next... That problem goes away because another problem comes along. Mm -hmm. yeah. Matt? Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to think of, of something that, that like, I've been affected by, or, but there, there are some things that I think we haven't really talked about today, um, and that's, that's offline events and how those work with, with social media. You know, the fact that there are people here who are Twittering right now and, you know, the, the Facebook uh, group that you set up. Like, you're, you're going to get a great deal of value from all of us because you put together a good event. And so next time we're you know, talking with someone, even if we're not customers of yours or maybe some of you guys are, next time we meet with someone who has a need for what, what you provide, you, you know, you'll be top of mind. You know, I saw this happen with um, uh, Right Media, which is a, a company that, that Yahoo bought. They, they put together actually a really, really, really cool event on advertising, and they invite their competitors in uh, on panels. They brought in DoubleClick and Microsoft and had, had John Battelle moderate a panel amongst the CEOs of, of these three um, advertising behemoths. And it was, it was so compelling to be at this event, and, and it suddenly, you know, it, it puts Right Media at the center of a very important conversation. So, more conferences, and we want you all to have conferences, so we can... <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure the, I'm sure the Cavendish Center people will be delighted to know that we're discussing 
<laughs> potential conferences. So. Thank you, though, for that. <laughs> <laughs> I probably build on that, and the, um, something I've just signed up for is the Innocent Smoothie kind of Regent's Park Festival. And I think what they've done around a drink, you know, essentially two pieces of fruit whizzed up in a blender and stuck in a bottle has been quite phenomenal. And suddenly they've got people engaging, talking about the environment and kind of traditional English fate games, I and mean, they're talking about bowling and knitting and stuff like that. And they've created this whole lifestyle and conversation around not even a drink anymore, but you associate it with innocent smoothies and summer and maypole dancing and stuff like that. I think that's quite phenomenal. You know, who else is going to sit there and discuss fruit drinks throughout the day? I think it's bizarre. And the other ones, the um, ones that come on recently, the Maryland cookies, aren't they lovely? You know, around a biscuit, and that's got people talking online as well, because it's not about saying they've got more chocolate chips than anybody else and somebody's flicking over. It's like, oh, that's quite cute, actually. I don't know, it's just, it's just something different, not going for the traditional message, mm. I think.